So as some of you may or may not know, um, these next two blocks um, are, are, are going away. Um, well, apparently we need a new apartment building or something like that. So um, for a little while, we have an interesting view. But I just want you to see this first part here. Uh, I think this is kind of interesting. They're, they're taking, because older bricks are better bricks. And so they're taking the bricks here and chocking, knocking off some of the concrete. And then they're putting on, they're stacking them, and they're taking them. So the whole building you can see here is coming down. Well, the whole buildings have come down, except that far wall over there. So that's this block. This is, um, as I said, this is the ending half of the 7500 block. Um, but I do think it's kind of interesting that, yeah, that so they got to go through that. And, um, and recycle the bricks, which I think is kind of cool. So that's what they're doing right along there. So now you walk along here, because we're back on sunset, and um, you're used to driving by, and, and you probably never even noticed the buildings here. And you know, you, you, or if you did, you might have said, oh, what a shame that those buildings are empty or whatever. Um, um, one of them is a place that used to have these great grilled cheese sandwiches and stuff like that, okay? So, I mean, just, you know, anyway. But again, coming down here, um, past the uh, Trader Joe's O's. Now, here's the important part. And here's the part of history that's gonna be going away as we come around here. That. That's all that's left of it right now. It's gonna be gone. I mean, the building is there. Uh, but that was the Parisian florist. So with this whole block going away, and to me, the Parisian was the anchor of it. Uh, the Parisian florist, uh, flower shop here, uh, it opened in 1924. Um, it was um, the favorite flower shop of people like, um, good God, Avi and Harriet, uh, Rock Hudson, um, Catherine Hepburn, uh, Telly Savalas, Lucy and Desi, um, Liz Taylor, Janet Gaynor. And for 20 years, this is where Joe DiMaggio had six um, Baccarat roses sent to Marilyn's grave. Uh, in the beginning, it was three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Eventually, it ended up being two times a week. But they all came from here. Now, the sadly, the whole thing is going to be gone. This whole block here is going to be gone. But you could come here and you could actually ask them and you could get the roses with the same um, ribbon and things like that. And uh, sometimes, one time I, I got it and they said here and they threw in an extra one. So this is an extra one. For, so it's just kind of cool that they do that uh, or did that. Um, but the building, unfortunately, it's, it's a, to, to a lot of people, it's just a minor piece of nothing history uh, and it's gone away and that's how it goes. Now, I do want to tell you something interesting about this block though. You see it's there, it says 7500 block. Um, if you ever come around the back side of it, as you know, I'm very fond of uh, going into alleyways uh, and photographing uh, because um, street art uh, is truly, truly an amazing thing. So all of this, you can see, now this is the block that they're finishing up here. This is going to be going next. So all, the, all this is all going to be gone away. And they're going to be building new whatever crap they're going to be building because you know how the hell they are. But this is, to me, this is the interesting part is that people don't realize. Uh, if you ever come down Hollywood Boulevard and where it meets La Brea and there's the part of the Hollywood Walk of Fame that shoots off, it's not technically on Hollywood Boulevard. It's actually called Mansfield. Or Marshfield, something like that. Anyway, um, what it is, it's part of the old Red Line route. They came down Hollywood Boulevard and then cut across. And so this alleyway here was part of it. And it came up, you can see how it goes all the way up there. It goes up there on the other side, back behind the guitar center, things like that. So this is where the actual red line, the electric red line came through here uh, at one time. So all of this you're gonna see here on the other side here, this is what's going away. Uh, and I've already been through here. I've gotten a lot of this before uh, a few months ago, but this is all what's gonna be taken down. And as I said, they're gonna be building another something. This is the back side of the Parisian florist and a little bit more. There's some more buildings back here, as you can see. 
but a lot of people don't realize this. Like you can see this building here. This is from the early 1920s. So there's some really neat architecture that's still here. Uh, and again, unfortunately, uh, some of this, some of this, all of this, um, what I call interesting street art is going to be going away. Uh, I love this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So um, I just want to document this because, uh, well, just because. So um, this, the, the other part will be going when that other, but the other part is finished uh, in about another less than a week probably. Uh, then they'll start on this side. I love Cyclops, baby. But like I said, so this is what you had as you came down. Now, you got the street art, which is cool. Um, but the red line, the electric uh, train um, that we used to have here, no graffiti. Uh, it came down there. It came straight towards us here and came right along here. Can you, they, they built those, those are since the earthquake, they, so they built all that stuff. And we continue down, going down towards Santa Monica. Um, you can see over the left, right hand side there, there's a sunset grill. Let's go down to the sunset grill. And watch, the, that, that's what it's based on. It's that, that's a restaurant right there. And um, then you can see the guitar center. But all of this, this whole block here, um, this will be gone. Next time you come back, None of this will be here. There'll be some new, brand new, lovely, I'm sure, gorgeous piece of crap. Uh, that's the best way I can put it. Uh, Sick Kids got some really interesting stuff. Sick Kids kind of changed uh, their style a little bit, which I think is interesting because they've done some really neat things. So, um, oh, by the way, this is going to be staying. So thank God all this block here because the El Compadre, uh, that's haunted. There's some really cool ghosts in the El Compadre. It's also really filmed, uh, Bosch was filmed um, there, um, but it's also just, a, it's, a, it's it, 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 coming from me. It's a really great little Spanish, uh, Mexican place. I like that place. However, fear not, the Parisian florist didn't go away, go away. They just moved. The building may be gone, Parisian is right here. Uh, I'm at Detroit and uh, Sunset uh, across the street from the consumer liquor store um, and uh, right behind the uh, Wendy's. So that's where Parisian Florist moved to. So the business, you, you can still do the business, it's just not in the same location uh, and that's, that's what's been torn down. Just thought I'd add that on. 